All right, I'd like to show you a little web app called BlipWeb, and this is an app for creating and sharing patches for MeBlip Anode using the Web MIDI API. Um, this runs in Chrome, which is the only browser that supports Web MIDI out of the box. Um, so this is what the interface looks like in Chrome. At the top, you've got a MIDI port selector, which lists all of the available MIDI ports on your system, and this should auto-update. So if I turn my MIDI interface off, we should see the box auto-update. So you can see it's just switched to none um, because we don't have any MIDI ports. Uh, now if I turn my MIDI interface back on, we should see that repopulate. All right, and I've got my MeBlip connected to the DIN 4 port on my iConnect here, so I'll select that. You also have a channel selector. The MeBlip can uh, receive data on channels 1 through 4, so whatever channel you're using, you select that here. And you get a couple of buttons here, one for sending to MeBlip and another one for getting a patch link. Send to MeBlip uh, will take all of the knob and switch settings and using the Web MIDI API, send those out to your MeBlip. And then you can play, um, play notes and hear how the patch sounds. Uh, if you want to save the patch, you can click this patch link button and get a patch link. Uh, you can bookmark that URL. You can copy it and you know, put it in a web page. You can email it to a friend, you know, wh whatever you want to do. So a really simple way to uh, build up a, a patch library for Meeblet. All right, let's hear how this thing sounds. So um, I'll just go with all of the knobs in the center position and all of the switches to the, the right positions. I'll send that out to the me blip and let's hear what it sounds like. All right, now let me drop the octave down. Um, and anytime you make changes in the form, you don't have to go click the send to me blip button. You can also hit enter and that'll send the updated settings to your me blip. So, I'll hit enter and the octave should drop down. And then we can adjust the uh, knobs as well. Um, we just do a few things so you can just hear the, you know, the sound will change. Um, so we'll send those off. All right, um, and so let's just take a look at these patch links here. So let's say that, um, you know, this is a cool sound, and so if you copy this URL, <clears throat> you can copy it, and I'll open a new tab, and we'll load it up, and you'll see that it, it preloads with the knobs and switches in, uh, in the configuration denoted by the URL. So really easy way to, uh, to share patches. Then you, all you'd have to do to send this out is just select your MIDI port on your system, which you know might be different. Um, uh, almost certainly is going to be different than mine. And then you could send this to your Mi Blip and, and, and get the same patch on your uh, on your synth. So I've got a couple that are in the page here, the example. So if you click this uh, perk uh, preset link, it loads up this uh, this new patch configuration in the browser. I select. Um, so again, we can. That's the last patch we have loaded. I'll select DIN 4, which is the MIDI port that my MeBlip is connected to. I'll send that off and we'll hear a new sound, a percussive sound uh, coming out of the MeBlip. And I've got this um, another patch here called Grit. Let's give that one a try. Again, select the MIDI port, uh, DIN 4. Um, that's the percussive sound. I'm going to send this one off and we should hear a new sound. So that's how you use BlipWeb to create uh, uh, patches and, and share them for MeBlip. Uh, it's alpha quality. Um, you know, I've tested it on on my system, um, but there you know there might be some issues with it. But uh, it's worked pretty well on my setup. Um, there are also a few parameters that are missing from the UI. So there are a couple of MIDI only parameters that I haven't added yet. Um, but I'll, I'll probably get to those uh, pretty soon. But if you uh, get a chance to check it out, curious to hear what you think. Um, and there you go, that's uh, BlipWeb for MeBlip Anode.